watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This is video F of the series titled A Detailed Study of Keys Used in Field Guides. In this video, we'll use another approach to identifying a plant, the patterns method. Plants are grouped into families before the family is divided into a genus and then divided further into a particular species. You can identify a plant by its family without being any more specific than that when you recognize the characteristics or patterns of that family. Botany in a Day uses a patterns method to identify a plant. With this approach, you first determine the family in which a plant belongs. This narrows down the subsequent number of plants to look through for your unknown plant because you will only need to look through a field guide, organized by families, at the plants in that one family. For this practice session, let's use this plant. Let's begin with profiling it using the chart provided in Botany in a Day. Although we may not have all the answers to the questions asked on the profile sheet, we can at least determine that this is a dicot with showy, irregular flowers. The sepals seem to be missing, and the petals are united. Next, we turn the book's pages to the page titled, Key to Irregular Dicot Flowers. As we look down the descriptions on the page, we come to figworts, four or five united petals, usually with two petal lobes up and three down, sepals united. Well, that's certainly an accurate description of this flower, but is this really a figwort? Let's keep reading down the page. After a few more descriptions, we come to figwort-like flowers, square stems and opposite leaves, often aromatic. Now that's more like it. So based on this plant's patterns, it belongs to the mint family. Looking in the index for mint family, we are directed to page 147, which provides even more information about the mint family, which has the scientific name of Lamaesiae. Now that we know the family, we can use a field guide which is organized by families. In this case, I'm using Wildflowers of North Carolina. Turning to the pages for the Lamaesiae family, we look through the 13 images for a match and it looks like it might be heal all, also known as self-heal. The photo shows a flower like ours in shape. However, the flower color is not the same, so we'll want to confirm our identification by looking through other field guides or resources. A search on the USDA plants database shows this flower is typically purple, so now we know for sure that this is heal all, with the scientific name Prunella vulgaris. Using the patterns method of identification may be all you need or want as you identify a wildflower. Perhaps knowing the flower's family is enough. If not, when you know the family first, then you can pursue the genus and species a lot easier if the field guide is organized by family. Wow, that was a lot of material to study. Take some time to practice using each of these types of keys. Expand your ability to identify plants by using field guides other than ones based solely on flower color. The more you practice, the easier it all gets, and your ability to accurately identify a plant improves dramatically. Visit identifythatplant.com for more plant identification resources and information about how you can confidently master these skills of correct plant identification. You've been watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire.